spark plugs now. So the rear spark plug, if we look past the air filter, is at the back here. So again, we can just pull that one out and that will come up and that's the, the cap. When we look at these, if I can get this out the right angle, you'll notice that there's an arrow on it. That arrow needs to face towards the exhaust. So when you go to put it back together again, you know which way this goes. And we've got our spark plug buried deep inside here. If you've not got a decent kit with a spark plug adapter on it, there is one in the tool kit that comes under the seat as it happens. So that's the rear one. We'll check that one in a second. The front one, bit of a bugger to get to. So this is the front radiator and there is the front spark plug. So to get to this one on the other side there's a bolt and we can pull this radiator forward and that's going to give us access to that front spark plug there. A spark plug tool typically has rubber in the end as you can see on this one and that's what's going to try and grip the spark plug. I often find putting a little bit of masking tape in the socket um, also provides a little bit of extra grip and I'll show you that when we come to reinstall it again. It's really important to note that the spark plugs are being screwed into an aluminium thread so as much as you can do as much as you can by hand because if you damage those we're going to have to helicoil the uh, engine parts and that's just going to be a right mission so taking it slow and steady and making sure that the threads are where they should be before applying any kind of force is a really really good idea. So I've got the spark plug on a short extension because we've got the petrol tank in the way as well and lowering that down you can feel there it is when it's in place and now we're just going to undo that one. Right I can feel that the spark plug is moved but it's just not gripping onto this. I'm going to show you my little masking tape. Trick. As we look down that rear hole you can see the spark plug sitting there nicely. Because we're struggling to pull that out with the right tool, by adding just a little bit of masking tape to the side it just uh, thickens it out a little bit and provides a slightly better grip so we'll give that a go. Okay so now very carefully there is the top of the spark plug. So we want to make sure that as we pull this out of the bike we don't drop this because that's the point. So when we look at a spark plug that's the bit that we're checking out and that is the gap that we're going to measure to make sure that that's right as well. So that's the spark plug um, sitting in our... there it is. Now using a set of feeler gauges here, these are the 0.7 ones, we're going to check that that gap is as it should be. Yeah, more than happy. So that's the spark plug checked. It's got a little bit of um, black on it but not a lot, I'm more than happy just to pop those back in So again. remember when we come to screw it back in, that we're screwing it back into aluminium. So we want to make sure that we don't drop this end here because that's where we've just had the gap that's been measured. And where we do it by hand, we can feel if the thread isn't going in as it should be. So we just tighten this up until it's hand tight and then if it's a new spark plug, do it by half a turn. So I often put a permanent marker mark on here and then twist it by half a turn. Um, where it's in a, a spark plug that's already been used, a quarter a turn is sufficient. So we're going to get that until it's hand tight. Right, so there it is. That's where it's just nipped up. And then on this one, we're just going to do a quarter of a turn. There it is, and that's just nipped that one up so it's nice and tight. So take that one out. The um, masking tape did what it needed to do and just held it into place, and that's it. So we look so for the arrow, there it is, and we know that that needs to face the exhaust, which is that way. So then we know that we're putting the cap on correctly. There it is, and just seat that, and that's going to keep that nice and dry and that's it that's your rear one done and now for the front one to get to the front spark plug does involve moving the radiator and although you can do it with the fairings on it's a really good idea to take the fairings off my bike has lowers on normally i've taken those off already and to get this top fairing off one two three four four allen bolts there is a 
little Phillips screw in that one and then just here there's a little like rubber plug where it, this side panel sort of fits in so just very gently if you have a quick look in there you can just about see there it is where that sat so with a gentle pull that side fairing will come off the side panel was off and as you can see that indicator there's just a small clip to undo that and then that whole side panel will be free like i say it just makes the radiator part nice and exposed making the job what's well, a little bit of a, a challenging job a little bit okay, more so from this angle you can see inside there is the spark plug itself so to begin with we're going to move this horn out of the way and that's a single bolt up there and then on the other side it's just a plug-in connector and that will move that because what we're going to then do is undo this bolt at the bottom okay now on my one i've got a bracket here this is what's holding on my lower fairings um, so we'll take that and the idea then is without disconnecting any of these hoses is to pivot the radiator forward maybe popping it up with a bit of wood if needs be just so we can get to that front spark plug 12 mil bolt has come off and as you can see there we look that now we could just uh, let that hang but i don't like the idea of things bashing against other things so here those electrodes there they'll just pull off and we can remove this whole horn looks like you could do with a bit of cleaning and a bit of love anyway look at the state of those contacts so i'll make sure that i use a bit of uh, wire brushing and get those contacts back to where they should be yeah just needs a bit of tlc so this is the bolt that we're going to undo which is attaching the radiator so i've got a 10 mil spanner on that side there i've got the five mil allen key on this side here so we're just going to unscrew that and then let the radiator so it's a pretty long screw and as you can see on my one because i've got the lower fairings all the lower bracket is now coming loose as well but eventually when that comes clear there it is Whoa. and then all of this just very gently ease off coming over to the left hand side of the bike now and i've done that because as you look at the radiator you can see all the fan and bits are on the right hand side so by coming over to the left hand side i've used a piece of wood to hold the radiator out and there now you can see that front spark plug so exactly as we did with the rear we're going to take the cap off first again making a note you see that downward arrow so just so we know how to put it back together again when we finish. Space to work in the front is pretty minimal. Um, also be careful of the radiator fins because they're really bloody sharp. If you look at the spark plug cap, you can see there's quite a bit of residue on it. And then when I've got the spark plug out as well, let's just get that to focus on there so we can have a quick look. You can see that that's quite badly corroded old and new spark plug side by side so you can see just how corroded the old one is you've got to remember though it's at the front of the bike so if you do take it out in the rain that's where most of the wet is going to hit the bike as it flicks up off the front wheel even my wheel's got a, a guard on it but it's still going to come through the radiator also because of the corrosive state of the nuts holding on to the radiator i've also bought some replacements of those as well we're going to carefully by hand put this into place because again you've got the aluminium threads that you need to be careful of um, because this is a brand new one we're going to um, once this is hand done up um, so it's it's nipped tight and um, we're then going to do half a turn and get that in properly what i've done now is i've put a permanent marker line on the other side of my socket so as i tighten this side up as soon as i see this permanent marker line appear on this side i know that the spark plug has been done up half a turn and is the correct tightness it's really important to not over tighten these spark so that front spark plug socket is now where it should be with the arrow facing downwards and then we're just going to push that so that it's tight over the spark plug because this is the point that's going to stop water and crud as much as possible getting into the spark plug so we're going to spend a bit of time making sure that that's seated in nice and tight happy with that so that's seated nice and securely now so the spark plug is all protected from the elements 
Just a case now of reassembling this bottom hinge of the radiator. So as you can see, I've got the new bolt, I've got the new lock nut as well. So exactly as before, Allen key in, 10 mil spanner on the other side and just tighten it up. Where I've got to be a little bit careful is my lowers bracket here. Um, this is where some of my fairings going to attach. So where I've taken this one off, of course, this now rotates. So what I'm going to have to make sure I do is get it roughly in the right place tighten that up a little bit and then make sure I put the fairing in place once I know I've got the, this bottom bracket in the right place then tighten it all up really tight if I do it too tight now and this bracket turns out to not be in the right place I'm just gonna have to redo it and redo it again horns back on and I've given it a little test just to make sure it works so um, there we have it radiators all back together again spark plug changed